According to the Ministry of Agriculture, Kenya produces an estimated 181,000 metric tons of fish every year, but it has potential to produce more. Now with the declining fish stocks, as a result of challenges such as overfishing and climate change, farmers can rear fish using cages as one way of boosting production. Take a look. From afar, you may think these floating structures are somewhat misplaced. But you are wrong. These structures represent a unique fish rearing technology. Charles Chege, who tried his hand in fish farming 10 years ago, is among farmers that are keeping fish using this unique technology. The cage system is like a cow keep being kept in a zero grazed, whereby that fish will not move for, for a long time for searching feeds because fish are being trained to eat, to feed on one position. Charles started off with five cages in 2009 at a cost of 17,000 shillings each. I keep tilapia and catfish, Nile tilapia and African catfish. The cages are constructed using wood, steel and wire mesh attached to the pond. To keep the cages afloat, Charles then attaches eight jerry cans onto each of the cages. Fish grow faster in cages compared to, to open ponds, whereby fish use a lot of energy to move from one direction to the feeding point, where fish will be fed in one point, so they get their feed there. And also, cages that have recirculatory system. In cages, you may stock a higher, higher, higher number of fish in those cages than compared in ponds. This form of fish farming also lowers labor costs, according to Charles. During harvesting, you may use a very little labor to harvest fish from the entire like open ponds whereby you require three to four people. One cage produces about 200 fish every six months, earning Charles roughly 36,000 shillings per cage. I harvest fish of 250 grams. You multiply 250 by 600, which is around 90,000 90, kg. That's like 90 tons from one cage. So for those two by four cages, I harvest like 40. 40 tons of fish from one cage of 2 by 2 meters. And that cage only requires a net of uh, 16 perimeter and an angle line that will not, you will not require to chip much capital to in order to construct a cage. But despite its benefits, there are a couple of challenges that Charles has had to deal with. Feeds for feeding fish is a challenge, number one. That in Kenya we don't have a manufacturing company for fish feeds. Number two is uh, predation by birds. While investing 17,000 shillings for a single cage may be a tall order for some, Charles reckons that the income one can earn from fish reared in cages is much higher compared to what one would earn from keeping fish in open ponds. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.